Siberia, also in Canada. Winters where they lived are really dark. They lived in northern Canada and Alaska and southern Greenland. Icy and snowy. It is icy and snowy there. They get, they get 100 to 320 centimeters of snow each year. In most areas, in, in most areas, a few inches of snow of, of soil thawed in the late spring to early summer. The early Inuit people believed that everything human and not had a spirit. They celebrated Dubkin Bladder Festival in the winter. During the festival, the bladders of <laughs> seals were presented on the walls of men's houses. For five days, the people of the village would celebrate and thank the souls of the seals. After, they would throw the bladders out into the water, hoping the seals would find new life. by stuffing different bird feathers into coats. They also use parkas. A parka is a loose coat with a hood made of caribou hide or seal skin. They were very long and thick. They also wore special boots called mukluks. Mukluks were crafted out of seal skin and oiled for water protection. <laughs> Flippers of sea lions made grips for the bottom of the boots. The Inuits quickly discovered that the glare of sunshine on ice and snow was blinding. They problem solved by making snow goggles out of wood and ivory that tied in the back of the head with sinew or straps of hide. many games in the cold. One of the games they played was called the string game. The goal of this game was to make different shapes with string while they listened to songs. Another game they played was a jagak. In a jagak, they had to throw a bone in the air and they had to catch it with a pointed bone. The Inuit performed something called the blanket toss because when they had to hunt food, they couldn't really see from bird's eye view. So they used a to so they used to toss a person in the air with a blanket so he could see. Bye. The Arctic homes long ago were igloos, but over time they changed the way they built their houses. The new way the Inuit built their houses was they stretched animal skin over animal bones, and for windows they used seal gut. They also lived in sod houses. Summer homes are made of seal and caribou skins. They lived in ranks with the chief at the top and each rank had about 30 people. The Inuits hunted bowhead whales. They traded the whales for weapons, wood, tools, and different foods. By 1912, the whales almost died out. They hunted seals with long kayaks and large spears called harpoons. They used special clothes to prevent hypothermia and they used furs to trade for stuff and make clothes. They used bows and arrows, they used to, and they speared fish out of icy water with spears. They also ate moose, whales, fish, and caribou. Bye! Bye. Bye.